Public space. This gentleman is live streaming to a fascist website right now. Do you want to talk about your sign? Uh, so it's misogynist, rapist, assholes because uh, the majority of the MRA are men who are out there abusing women, making excuses for it. Uh, pretty much they are misogynists who are peddling under a false guise of being for men and for male mental health while never actually advocating for it in any way, shape or form. Um, and then this is just the only good fascist is a dead one because the event today is run by two fascist people. So are you referring to Sydney Watson and Ivy Yemeni? Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that they're fascists? Because uh, they peddle Islamophobia or all that African gang bullshit. They're running this event which is clearly very anti-women if you looked online at all the uh, a lot of the men attending this event today were posting in their make america great again hats threaten, uh, threatening to set women on fire things like that it was very pleasant of them do you think do you think that there are men's issues that needs to be addressed obviously men's oh, mental definitely, health definitely definitely male mental health is important to me i believe it should be addressed i fight for my male friends every day to be able to express their emotions but i don't think that a negative patriarchal group like this that enforces toxic masculinity is going to be able to help men to do that and and masculinity in general we What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with being masculine if you're doing it in a nice, no, a toxic masculine. This is, this is, what's so toxic about this? Uh, this is full of men who have been online threatening to rape. So obviously your sign says a rapist on it. Now obviously I don't think there'd be anyone here who would advocate rape. It's it's illegal and rapists are pretty uh, uh, they're, they're considered pretty low in our our society. I mean it does. No, they're not. I don't think you're very familiar with rape culture if you haven't seen the way that uh, men in our country do advocate for it. Uh, they do very much advocate for rape in this country like and the way women are victim blamed in this country for being raped um, the way you know she was asking for it she wanted it all that kind of thing um, it's very much there would be men in this crowd who have raped who do rape and who are advocates of rape well, that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty. <laughs> no. Yeah, that, 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 can just make that. any claim you want. It's a pretty serious so accusation I. to, I mean, to, to generalise I mean, about. One in three women are being sexually assaulted and raped. Statistically, there are men in there who have raped women. Uh, like, that's just a statistic. Like, it, it makes logical sense. You're not going to have one in three women. And I would say the number is probably higher. Pretty much every female friend I know has been assaulted or raped in their lifetime. Uh, it's, it's not invisible ghosts doing it. It's not magical, secret, creepy men in alleyways. It's our, it's our brothers, it's our fathers, it's our uncles, it's our friends. They are out there raping. Do you worry about false accusations? I mean, at the... no. False accusations count for about two percent of rape allegations, um, like 0.2 percent kind of thing. They rarely. Huh? It's like you can look it up. It's a statistic. That's like a like statistic. That Where do you exists. go from? I don't know, online, do you, do you want me to magic some sources? Do you want me to sit here and research? Like, I didn't come with so a fucking So you didn't research your argument, you didn't research your, your No, facts. I've researched my argument and my facts, I just don't have a fucking essay in my pocket. So why do you hate white males? You're a white male yourself. Well, you're a white male yourself, so that's a that's a huge level. Well, you you don't think white males should be able to organise, do you? I think uh, you and your lads are having off, buddy. Well, I'm having a good conversation with you, so let's keep chatting. All right, why do you think stop I, shaking, man? Why do you Come think on, I we're all calm males? here, man. Why do you think I hate white males? Well, you don't let them organise, and you you constantly attack them for that. You know, what's wrong with white people organising? So? 
here for the own What's wrong with white people organizing? Well, do you think white people are oppressed or something? Well, it doesn't even matter if are we're oppressed like, or not. No, no, listen. It doesn't matter if we're oppressed or not. Are we allowed to organize? Organize for what? Organize just in what general. Community. So we for what purpose? You're organizing for something. Community. Community. Why for whatever we want. What if we want to have our own white... Um, you, have sort no, of, you have no problem with the Chinese community having their, their spaces. Yeah. You have no problem with uh, the Jewish community or the, uh, you know, any other group. But when it comes Indian to white people, like you take an exception to that. Yeah, what sort of things are you trying to organise with the white community there? Well, what are the Chinese trying to organise for? No, we're not talking about the Chinese. You're no, saying no, you no, want to organise for Well, we're using the Chinese as an example. You want to organise for white people. No, all right, listen. What do you want to organise for white organize. people? Answer the question. What do you want to organise for white people? All right, the Chinese organize and they, they buy a property together in syndicates. Is it a right for white people to do that? Of course, people buy properties in syndicates all the time. So, so, why, so why, why are you against, against white people? people I'm not against white people. What are you talking about? Organizing. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to organize? <laughs> well, all right, say white people organize a syndicate for buying up land for them, for their people, for white people. Is that bad? For what purpose, though? We just what do you mean, so, so they can live? That's what do you buy land for? Like, what are you talking about? You're making no sense. <laughs> You're insane. Like, what the hell? How's that? How am I making no sense? All right, why would someone buy land anyway? Well, let's just say we're oh buying it for God. a commercial. This is the most boring conversation. You're boring. Man. I swear to God, buddy. Yeah. Oh, it's so boring, boring that I have no speakers. fucking answer to it. Because well, you're talking about buying land. Are you property developer? You just said what's wrong with that? Keep talking I'm using ideology. an example of white people organizing. You're here to talk about my ideology. Oh, my God, it's you. I swear. You're here as part of a communist troop. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. This is a march for men, yeah, as an example, yeah? This is part of what we do. We're marching for men. That's right. Have you got a problem yeah, with why that? Why are you protesting the mask with men? Can't men organize? You effeminate little shit. <laughs> You're preaching hate! <laughs> oh, <laughs> take it seriously. I was like, what am I doing? Wow, what's going on? <laughs> How dare you assume he's gender? That's, that's yeah. You need the red and black flag. Do you want to call the anti- Yeah. <laughs>